What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, new focus, Albania, Angela, Peristeri, Karma. Well, I hope my karma will be clean after this video. Well, let's talk about it. Alright guys, welcome to the new video, welcome to the new focus, welcome to the new review or the opinion on Albanian representative song for 2021 Eurovision. And if you like those videos, and I've made plenty already, please subscribe the channel or consider it, consider liking this video if you're gonna like it, of course sharing the video and push the notification button, which looks like a like little ring. Well, that's up to you, but let's talk about the Albanian song from Angzela. Well, when I was watching and overseeing the first national selection, which was the Albanian one, I was like... Well, I wasn't surprised. It's very traditional country in, with very traditional music industry, with their own flavors, with their own taste, with their own kind of, you know, vibrancy they bring. And, of course, that as well means that for my ear, which is more Americanish style kind of influence in my life, this is something a bit obsolete, of course. And I was talking about it with Claire Dure, head of delegation and producer of public broadcaster in Albania, about this as how stereotypical probably the Eurovision is taken both in Albania and maybe in Europe, as when I heard Karma, the new version, the revamp version, I was a bit like, well, this is exactly what I would expect. If I just close my eyes, Albania would be among those countries I would tip that this song is came from. That has one flow, but it has as well pro, you know, and that's pro is it's local it supports local music it supports lo local artists doing local stuff and i think a lot of eurovision fans really like this and not just fans but a lot of people you know like said that the eurovision is not just a mix of american influenced songs but it has more like local kind of vibes i'm just always asking myself if this local vibe is just the local vibe from current music like currently taken currently done and if it's necessary sometimes and you know I leave this question unanswered but there is as well a con which is that I'm not sure if this song is just sounds 2021 it just doesn't really sound 2000s or maybe even less for me as it really sounds a bit like this song my parents were listening when I was really really young you know and I wasn't a fan of it even that time but you know on the semi-final on the semi-final two where Albania is we can expect just less of influences maybe from Armenia but lots of countries probably will go the modern kind of way of production and you know most of them already did and this can be actually a big win for Albania even there in odds last but that doesn't really matter it makes no sense as no one really knows live performances of new songs as Albanian was sung live already. I wasn't a fan of it either, I think they had better choices there, but they chose this super local big song, this super stereotypical song, which is not bad. And I think we can see a surprise in there as I think Eurovision sometimes needs a Eurovision song, like Eurovision song from a past, the blast from a past in a good way, as this is the only big song which we can expect in the semi-final from this rank, I would say, local, local big stuff. And we'll see how it's gonna end, you know. For me, if it's just a one song like this, I'm completely alright, there's no competition for it. I think juries can like it as as Angela can really sing and the song is produced quite well even maybe a bit obsolete but well it's not overproduced it follows the you know simple patterns and local music I would say combined sometimes of course it sounds a bit like watching a Xena intro but 
that's what we expected, but it's kind of good as well. And you know, live they can serve. I would go with less fires, more music, but that's up to them, of course. And we'll see about the chances going to semi-final. I really think we can expect really unexpected results from this semi-final. Only 10 songs can go through, 8 will stay home, home, hopefully or we know that they will stay in Rotterdam probably, but that's, that's, that's a bit mystery and we'll see in a few more days when we will, when, when the rest of the songs will be released. But I'm really curious about your idea, do you like this revamp more or less than the previous version? Do you like Angela as a singer or did you expect anybody else to represent Albania? You know, let me know in the comments below, I'm really curious of your opinions, I'm really curious of your ideas how the staging should look. Just let me know and don't forget to subscribe, to share, to, you know, to like, thumbs up and of course to press the notification button so no other news from me will be hidden from you, of course. Well, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.